I was going to record my unfinished business video today, but Trippy Red just released an album. Honestly, I don't listen to him too much, but I did listen to the whole project and I was very surprised, man. So today I'm going to be making a couple of beats in the style of A Love Letter to You 5. For the first beat, the reference track I'm going to use is Took My Breath Away featuring Sky Morales. Probably my favorite track on the album. This is going to be interesting though because I have never made a beat like this. There's a lot of different styles to this album and I'm not familiar with any of them. So I think to start off with, I'm going to go with a Rhodes piano and just lay down a couple of chords. <laughs> Sounds good, but I don't really want to leave it like that. So I'm going to go into Analog Lab 5. Hmm. All right, I'm still not satisfied. So I'm going to add another one. Alright, I've just listened to the track again and I've noticed there's like a string pattern in the main melody. To fill it out a bit more, I'm just going to add some strings. And in the pack that I'm using, there's a bunch of different articulations and I'm going to use the crescendo long unison version. What I'm going to do is copy the main chords over, but I don't want them to play on the first or the third beat. So I'm going to just remove everything else. Alright, I like the sound of this so far. It is missing some bass frequencies though, so I'm going to add a bass line real quick. Right, now probably my favorite part i'm gonna want to add some accents maybe some arps this track kind of reminds me of like 1980s pop music so i'm going to look for some like typical funk arps or something in splice and just see what i can find i mean either of these are pretty good i'm just gonna keep layering stuff man Yeah, that could work. I do want something more obnoxious though, like something like an ambient vocal effect. So I'm happy with all my melodic elements, so I'm going to give him a quick mix down and start with the drums. I 
took a while, but I've mixed all the melodic elements, so now I'm just going to add some drums. Alright, I'm pretty happy with the drums so far, but I do want to add a couple of percussion loops and stuff like that. So I might have another look in Splice for that. Funky. Alright, I found another drum loop that sounds pretty cool, but I only really like the more subtle elements of it. I don't really like the kick and the snare too much. It's a bit too heavy for a track like this, so I'm just going to remove all of the kicks and snares and then add it to the composition, so... Alright, I'm very happy with that, so I'm just going to take all of the percussive elements, mix them up, and then see what the final beat sounds like. Now I'm just going to arrange the beat real quick and add an acapella. Alright, I'm very happy with how that turned out. I think it sounds a bit too similar to the reference track, probably because I listened to that song pretty much on loop for the past couple days, though saying that I don't really know how well the acapella fits with this beat. I think I could probably mess with the arrangement of the beat a bit better just so it fits the acapella more. I'm very happy with the percussion. Splice came in clutch once again because I really had none of these sounds like on hand with me. I'm also pretty happy I didn't have saxophone because it's already pretty crowded and it probably would have taken away from the vocal. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed, Feel free to like and subscribe. Let's just listen to the beat and see what I could do better for next time.